All right, guys, we got Dante Jackson joining us. Answer questions you all have for him. Dante, you here? Yeah. What's Perfect. Up, Chris? How are we doing? All right, guys, uh, no one has their hand raised yet, so if someone wants to start us off, go for it. Hey, Dante. Hey, Dante. How's the uh, – just give us an update on the toe. How's it feeling this week? Um, it's, it's, it's getting there. I'm still, you know, working to – I had a um, – I met with a, a few doctors, a few specialists over this weekend um, to, to take a better look at it. Um, it's feeling better. It's just, you know, just trying not to aggravate it, man. Uh, let's go to Mike Slarte and then Miles Simmons. Thanks, Preston. Hey, Dante. Uh, defensively, the challenge this week, it, it seems like it starts at quarterback with Patrick Mahomes, but uh, Brian Burns is saying this is a, a week of really plastering guys to limit his options to throw it. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. He's a guy, um, there's a lot of quarterbacks in this league that once you get them off their spot, you know, they're, um, they're different guys, you know, that to, to, in terms of, like, arm, the throws they can make and – just the, the things they can do, you know, when they get off their spot. And um, he's just one of those rare guys that um, that it really doesn't matter, you know, if you get him off his spot or not. Um, only thing that really matters is getting him on the ground. Cause like, if you get him on his, get him off his spot or get him uncomfortable, he still can make this same amount of throws. He still can, you know, make flashy plays. So um, definitely um, on the back end, you know, we're gonna have to definitely uh, make sure we plaster, make sure we have, you know, eye, great eye discipline and just make sure we, we, we drop in where we're supposed to drop and, um, and just try to el eliminate um, the self-inflicting wounds. Hey, Dante, I have a couple things for you. Uh, first, what does it mean to have Rasul Douglas back with you guys? Oh, it means a lot. It means a lot, man. Um, I'm sure you guys can see it. Uh, Rasul has been, he came in from since the, the Raiders game and he's just been, you know, a guy who, who never complains to just come out and work. So just getting him back um, is definitely, you know, gives us a, a great boost of confidence just to have him back on the field, moving around and just to get to see him in the building is definitely a great, great feeling. And then uh, something uh, that Matt Rule was talking about earlier is that with the Chiefs, they he said that they run routes differently than a lot of teams. If they uh, so they do moves like double moves and things differently and, and deeper than a lot of teams will do because of Patrick Mahomes' arm strength. What does that mean for you as a corner and how you guys have to, I guess, play different routes um, as the Chiefs are doing them? Um, well, mostly it's just discipline, man. It's um, making sure your eyes are in the right spot. Like I, like I stated, just just not not getting lured to sleep about him running around, about him, you know, moving the pocket, about him just, you know, trying to get – because he's always comfortable. So you just got to make sure you're just doing everything. If you got to stay high, stay high. You know, if you got a guy in front of you that you need to be uh, more closer to, attached to, be attached to him, be close to him. You know, if you got a zone drop that you got to drop, just make sure you make your drops. And um, that's just something that we all have been um, – we're making sure we, we really detailed on, you know, we had a, a little extra time to, uh, to really look into, you know, things that they like to do. So I'm um, just, just making sure we're very, very disciplined, making sure we're very, very um, just, just poised, you know, and, and, and not really getting ahead of ourselves. Cause you know, that's an explosive, explosive team, you know, so some plays are going to be made, but we just got to make sure we stay together. Let's go to Elena Getzenberg and then Joe Person. Hey, Dante, I know you're sick of, of talking about this toe, nah, but, <laughs> and it's probably a big pain for you, but I was curious, like, when it, mid-game, like, it starts hurting and, like, like against the Falcons, and you, like, yeah. just can't go anymore, what's that feel like for you? Like, it's, what's it's, the it's super, 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 I can't, I can't express how much of a frustrating feeling it is, you know, because, when you get out there and you, you you just want to be out there and you want to help your teammates, you know, you want to be out there and you want to fight with your teammates, you know, you, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a big guy on, you know, when I'm not able to go coaching my guys up, you know, just making sure I'm staying in tune and staying, you know, live on the sideline, but it's very, very frustrating when I can't get out there and, and help them. And, and, you know, like, especially when I'm, when I feel like I'm really playing, you know, at a high level, I really just feel like, you know, my teammates, you know, they, 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 they have been very, very supportive. Um, but it, I, I know it's, it's, it's just frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. Um, uh, I, I'll be feeling good all the way until it's not. And once it's not, it's just like, all right, like I'm not taking no more. And it's just, it's like I said, I can't stress how, how, how frustrating it really is, especially for a competitor like me. I just want to get out there and compete and, and help my team win and help my team be successful. And when I can't do that, it's just, it, it, it hurts me a lot. And, um, but I just got to just trying to stay on it, man. Stay, stay on this treatment and try to keep this thing right. Cause when, like I say, when it's feeling good, it's feeling good. But 
I just can't, you know, I just can't try to let it get too down, get me too down, but um, it's very frustrating. If I could just follow up on that, when you met with the doctor specialist this weekend, are you going to try any new cleats or something different? Is there anything they advised you on doing? Um, I've, I've tried a, a new um, acupuncture routine um, to, um, to like help minimize the pain when it does start hurting. Um, that's something I've been doing since I want to say Friday or Saturday. Uh, Friday, I've been doing that since Friday, and that that's been that that like throughout the weekend and letting it like rest a little bit and still staying on it with the treatment. That's had um, that helped me have a better day today on it. So just gonna keep going, you know. Um, I know it's just an uphill battle. I know that um, this is something that just won't just go away on its own. You gotta really just force it and stay on it. And that's just what I've been doing, you know. Trying, like I said, trying not to let it get me too down. Um, my teammates have been very, very supportive. My teammates have been right on my side, you know, making sure that I'm that, that they know that uh, that I'm that they're there for me and stuff like that. So just gotta stay on it and just be a pro about it. Hey Dante, you guys are in the midst of a stretch of games against some of the best NFL quarterbacks currently and maybe all time. You obviously have been in the league. You played at at cornerback. You. But what is that, how daunting a challenge is that for some of the younger defensive backs that you guys have been relying on? Oh, we we don't blink. And, um, and that's something Trey Boston, myself, and Rasul, and, and Justin Burris, that's what, some things we, we just try to keep in the air in the secondary room. We don't blink. Um, these guys, like, we, I see it as the way I see it. I see it as all the quarterbacks we, we, we face are, are really, really good, you know. Um, if you if you playing against um, what guys did, then everybody's a a, a, a great you know player. Um, we just go out there and focus on Sunday. You know, whatever whoever the opponent may be, that's just the, one of the things that we that we preach. You know, to, since we have a, so many young guys back there. You know, and I was a young guy once with Mike Adams. You know, telling me that uh, I can't be you know a uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers fan this week. Like you know, I'm I'm just a football head, and we have guys like that in the room who who obviously been watching football their whole life, who obviously have been watching these guys do great things their whole life but you just got to play play the game that's that's happening on Sunday and play against the, the quarterback that's playing on Sunday and not what he's done and not what he's going to do so that's just something that we we just preach in there to the young guys and try to keep them up let's go to Josh Klein and then David Newton Dante you talked about talking to the younger guys in the room um what advice do you have for uh, for Chen, who is dealing with this knee thing? He's had a hip stuff in in terms of dealing with injuries when you're in the NFL versus when you're in college. Because um, I know you've had some lingering injuries in your yeah. I, I just told him um, from experience. Um, the first thing I did, and especially last year, was I got my mental out of it. Like I lost my head when I couldn't get out there and compete. I lost my head when I just couldn't be myself. When I wasn't 100, even when I got back off my injury, I couldn't be myself because I just wasn't in it mentally. And uh, that's just the one thing I, I like to tell them. Like, I told, actually told Chin that today, but I'd like to tell that to any of the young guys or any person, really don't have to be a young guy. If I, can, if I experienced it, I like to, you know, put my little two cents in it if, you know, if they want. But I just really just tell them, just keep, keep your head in there and um, don't really let uh, the fact that that you can't really go, you can't be yourself, you can't be a hundred like like dawn on you mentally because that that'll that'll mess up everything for you. Your game, that'll mess up your your, your preparation, that'll even mess up your treatment of trying to come back from your injury once you let your head go. And um, I know that's one thing I had did when I pulled my groin last year. I just let my head go, and it messed up my game, it messed up my performance, it messed up just everything that that dealing with you know this sport. So I just, just, that's my basic thing. Like, just, just keep your head in it. Make sure you still come in here ready to have fun. Make sure you still come in here ready to just work regardless of your limitations. So just, just, just keep your head in. That's one thing I, I told Chen. I actually told him that today. Hey, Dante, good to see you doing well. Good to see you talking about your toe still. So uh, <laughs> hope there are more jokes. Um, what? Stay on that chin line. What about him? You went through the rookie thing a few years ago, and what about him has impressed you the most? Any player or anything that stood out the oh, most he's, to you? He's, he's he's really poised. You know, he's very he's really he's rarely rattled. Like he's he he's water, really. You know, um, and it's a lot of a lot of young guys from the from the top guys to the to the not so top guys. You know. You know, you, you're going at some point you're gonna be you're gonna be champagne, you're gonna be soda. And once something go wrong, you just gonna you're gonna burst and you're gonna wanna do 
you know, you won't want to explode, but he's rarely that, you know, he's most of the time he's water. Most of the time he's, he's always level headed. He's always willing to learn and he's always willing to work. And um, that's just some things that you just can't teach. Thanks. All right, guys, we have time for two more. So let's go to Phil Orban and then Deshaun Brown. Hey, Dante, uh, Matt talked about the experience uh, that the younger guys got when when you and Rasul were both out Thursday night. Uh, you were obviously in a different situation, but do you kind of remember your first game action and the ex kind of the difference between that game action and the and the preseason action um, and how that kind of helps your growth and development? Oh, it helped a lot. It helped a lot. Um, just just like the way that I play the game now, you know, um, is everything just slowing down a little bit? Um, so definitely, like getting out there in the game, it really, it really like helps you, you know, getting those game experience, getting those game reps, especially against like great players or great quarterbacks. Uh, it just definitely just it, it, one thing. It helps your confidence and just, it helps your game overall. You know, um, it's, it's, it's some guys are gonna come out there and just be, you know, a, a alpha right off the spot. But some guys, you you, you got to trickle in. You have to feel. You have to get a feel for the game. You stuff like that. So I just think that getting those experience getting those game reps it definitely helps with your confidence it helps with your just just to, just understanding the sport more you know um like i i can say rules off the back of my head that i didn't even know before i can before i got out there and actually started playing and actually start moving around so it definitely helps with with just 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 the overall game of football like just being out there so Hey, Dante, and thank you for taking the time. I did want to circle back to what you were saying about eye discipline. I remember you mentioned this was something that you worked on a lot during the off season. How do you see the game differently now? Um, it's very, very slow. It's very slow. It's very, um, I, I just have a, like, I, I would hear the play. I can see the formation and I can automatically like start eliminating things in my head or start, you know, knowing like, all right, I might get this and this, I might be a little late on this. Just, it just, just makes the, I understand the game a little bit more, you know, especially when, when you have a play where you have good eyes and good feet. Cause sometimes you can have good eyes and bad feet and still be able to make a play. And um, just like, I, I don't really know how to explain it. It's just like, I uh, just, it's just slowing down is understanding it more. Um, just can be, I can be more vocal out there. I can just be more, you know, communicate. I can communicate a little bit more because like I start seeing stuff before plays and stuff. And it just, I like I said, I really can't explain it. It's just like a feeling I have when I'm just out there. I do want to follow up quickly on that. Did you grasp the significance of good vision when you're out there before? Did you really feel the difference now? Oh, definitely feel the difference now. I definitely took uh, having good eyes and, and good patience. I took it for granted because I'm such a good athlete. So I never really had to like focus on things like that until like I really forced myself and started making myself do it. And then I realized that it makes the game a whole lot easier, especially if you're a good athlete. All right, guys, we gotta let them go. Dante, we appreciate you taking the time. Yes, sir. Appreciate you guys. Yeah.